But today we got a question from Max who is a newer white belt and training is going phenomenally well. He loves it. He's having a great time. The issue that he's running into and the reason he sent in the question for the video is he's getting lots of mat burn on his toes. <laughs> Any person that started training, you understand the the real struggle of mat burn in the beginning. And he says that he's, you know, training and everything's going great, but his feet are constantly getting rubbed raw and then, you know, they're beginning to bleed. So he then begins to tape it. So imagine that my uh, finger is his toe. He's taping it up. But, you know, through the process of training, it gets sweaty and the tape falls off. And so he's wondering if I just have any better ways to cover up the mat burn rather than tape. You know, because again, he's not going to stop training because of a mat burn, but he would like to not bleed all over the mat and over people's gi and that kind of thing. So, Max, thanks for the question, brother. And today I'm going to share with you a quick $3, probably like three bucks fix um, for your mat burn. Really simple. And this is what I share with a lot of my students when they're newer. Um, real quick, first off, guys, I just want to throw this out there as an instructor. Don't use band-aids. <laughs> a lot of guys will come into the gym and they'll like they'll have a mat, they'll have like a mat burn or a scrape or something and they'll put a band-aid over it. And a band-aid in the jiu-jitsu gym lasts about two seconds. So don't use a band-aid because it's gross, because then you'll like it sweats and then it falls off and then Somewhere on the mat, you'll have a big band-aid like right there. So you're in the middle of this crazy roll and then you're looking over there and you see this band-aid. It's gross. So don't use band-aids. Um, and you know, when you're getting these mat burns, eventually the, the, the skin will callus up similar to the skin that's here in your hands. If you lift weights for a long time, you'll get those calluses and you won't have to worry about it. But in the meantime, Max, Liquid bandage, new skin, whatever you want to consider it. This is a simple fix. So you can go to any store and get this stuff. But basically, it's a liquid adhesive that you put over top of a scrape or a wound or a burn, right, mat burn. And what you can do is you put that over there and then you get this nice little flexi bendable layer to protect that mat burn. And so, you know, like with a Band-Aid, obviously it's not gonna stick on. A tape is good and tape can stay if you really tape it down. But, you know, it's a hassle and it's a lot of excessive taping for nothing, you know. Whereas with the, the new skin or the liquid bandage, whatever it is, you can, you know, you get the little burn there, right? You just apply it. And the best time I think to do this is when this when the skin is very clean. So you know maybe take a shower, dry it off, and then you know apply your layer of liquid bandage to it. After it dries, apply another layer or two. I typically like two to three layers, and then afterwards you're good to go, man. You'll be able to go train. It's not going to bleed everywhere. You'll have this nice water resistant, sweat resist resistant sort of layer of protective covering over top of that. Um, mat burn and if you need to put it back on you know it's as simple as just doing this wiping it back on you don't have to rip up the tape and wipe it on there and all that stuff it just it's a lot easier in that sense so um, for anyone if you're newer and you're getting those mat burns on your toes anything like that try the new skin I think it's a really simple fix uh, for mat burn and it works really well it's typically what I advise my white belts to do if they if they're getting mat burn so short video but max I hope that helps brother thank you for the question <laughs>